What are you doing down there, huh? Here he goes. And he took a run for the hills. But he was hanging out with us for a while, Jake. That was pretty cool. You know, deer, they're a lot like dogs to me. When I lived in Virginia, there had to be like 30 to 40 on our lawn every night. And they weren't as disrupted as they were. As you can see here, I'm on Hamburg Turnpike. Uh, and that's Ringwood Ave down there, right around the corner from my place. Down here is a field um, that they were going to make a park, but it's contaminated. But uh, me and Jake, we go walking down there, and there's got to be about 15, 16 deer. Sometimes the traffic spooks them. It shows you the difference on how, you know, we build shit and it provokes them to uh, be threatened or however you want to, you know, word it. But every once in a while, I'll catch a deer like I just did before I started filming. And uh, I know that they can look at us, or at least someone like me, and uh, realize that I'm, in, you know, coming in peace. It's nice to, uh, to make eye contact with them for like a minute straight and just see you know, them from, uh, from going to, uh, you know, from being scared to, uh, knowing that we're coming in peace. So they're smart creatures. I really love them, you know, and, uh, this is where I'm from. You know, it might not be as beautiful as it used to be, but I mean, with the way shit's going down today, things could get a lot worse. So I feel like these are my stories and I'm going to log them and uh, document all them in, in case this world takes a turn for the worst. We have something to look back on, you know, sort of keeping my own personal video log. I suggest you do the same, you know. It's nice because we might not have these beautiful things with uh, greed and people being so self-absorbed and it's... I'm almost sympathetic for them, you know, because, I mean, let's face it, we're threatened by uh, all kinds of shit, natural disaster, terrorism, and, and people are caught up, I put the news on, and dumbass bitches are worried about what's in fashion, or trying to look their best, or fucking dudes going to the gym to try to be fucking tough, I mean, me and Jake are preparing for the worst, you know, just... Really, it's a shame. It's really a shame. Because, you know, we're just so caught up that uh, we're weak. We don't realize that, you know, we're threatened by a lot of shit. We need to be prepared. I think if everybody was a little more attentive to just the things that we found, you know, beautiful. Uh, they're more attentive to the natural shit. Just walking around and observing life itself. I, I think we'd be a lot better off. Uh, I think we'd be more prepared in case something happened, but even if we couldn't do something about it, we could go out with some dignity and, and really understand life. I'm really not afraid to die. You know, I, I'm glad that I'm alert and I'm attentive of all this shit, not to get caught up in my own bullshit and just be a good man. Uh, that shit means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, as much as I used to be afraid of death, I'm not afraid to die anymore. But I, I, I really feel like a lot of people don't get it, you know. It's tough. People are just so caught up. And it's not, you know, I mean, we're partly to blame as people. But look at the shit that they pump in our heads. All this bullshit. I mean, the royal wedding. I don't give a fuck about some rich people getting married. I mean, the world's suffering. And a lot of shit ain't right, you know. And we take a lot of shit for granted. I mean, this is our fate right here. It's inevitable. I'm going to turn the camera and let you see. This is the Ponton Lakes graveyard. It's a beautiful church. I'm not religious, but they are nice if you look at them just for what they are, you know? I don't try to get too involved religiously. I have my own beliefs. I think it's not that hard. Just be a good man, you know? I see these bitches coming out of church in fucking miniskirts. It's so sacrilegious. And they judge me for walking around, you know? But they got no problem dressing up like weekend whores. Bullshit, bro. Not into it. I don't know. I feel like the church comes off wrong. I guess it's salvation for some people, but not for me.
Just because people leave a bad taste in my mouth with it, you know, I have an opinion. I don't like everybody, and I'll call people out. That's just me. Not to say that I'm perfect. When people call me on my shit, I listen too, you know. Uh, I try to help people. Or just put them on or, or give them a compliment, and they take it the wrong way and become defensive and paranoid. We really live in a fucking shysty, insecure, passive-aggressive, self-centered world. You know, like, we got to get out of that habit. It's bad. It's bad. That negative energy is just adding to the fire of the poles reversing, terrorism, all that shit. It's going to hit us, you know, at once. Just like when you're at the bottom of the barrel, you know. Shit hits you all at once. And uh, I've been rock bottom in my life. And I don't ever want to be back there again. And I don't know if our days are numbered or not. But I'm going to live every day like they are. Because it could very well be. And believe me, New York City and New Jersey... We're going to be the first motherfuckers to get the hit. For some reason, whenever there's a beef between the world, New York City is the perfect punching bag. Since I live out here in, in New Jersey, I'll get the aftermath. My skin will melt off and shit. Probably take me about two hours to die. I worry about Jake. You know, I want him to be happy. He's my right hand man. Right, Jake? You good man? Hey, you in your own world? <laughs> you know, I, uh, my goal is to uh, do what I can for my family and friends and people in need and maybe speak out to the world and make sure all this shit goes on record because we don't know, you know, I mean, we should set good examples in case a lot of us aren't here tomorrow. Maybe the future can find our past and live and learn. And I'm really serious about this shit. I'm not paranoid. I enjoy my life, but, you know, the signs are adding up, so I'm a little concerned. I don't believe that some fucking book says that the world's going to end this Saturday. The world's already started to end with the way we act. So that's all mumbo-jumbo bullshit that I don't want to be a part of. We could go out at any given second, and if we're going to act self-absorbed and be in our own shit, and, and, you know, we're dead already. Look at Jake. He's falling over. He's a crazy motherfucker. So, I live my life, I'm prepared for the worst. I walk the streets and I, I break down scenarios and things that I would have to do to survive. What, what if this, what if that? And it doesn't need me paranoid. It, it leaves me feeling good, like I'm attentive and I'm aware and I'm alert to the shit going on. And uh, I'm about something more than just myself. And, you know, the slut junkies and all, you know, it's so nice to post shit on the internet about what we're up to, but, but by no means do I feel I've achieved my goals. You know, I'm not living off the past saying, I did this once, and uh, I have a reason to praise myself. I have high standards, and I, you know, my life is just starting, and if it, if it ends abruptly, I mean, those are the breaks, but I can say at 30, I've lived a great life, you know? I really feel bad for the young kids. They're so innocent. If the world did end, you know, I'm not going to sit there being bitter about how I missed out. But I am a little concerned, you know, that they're going to die in terror. And it's scary. With these poles reversing, it's not going to be like the movie 2012. But as you can see, it's been raining for a thousand fucking days straight. It's a slow pole reversal that's going to lead to natural disasters. Like earthquakes and tornadoes and rain. Eventually, we're going to flip-flop with Chile, you know. They're going to have snow in December. They get... They get the summer during Christmas now. It's going to be reversed after a while. I just hope that the poles reverse slow enough to where we don't have massive disasters like that fucking 2012 movie. Um, if they reverse at a slow rate, I'm sure we'll have some fatalities and flooding and all this shit. But humans can still survive. But that's my point. You know, people are so caught up. It's like, what's the point of... Us going on if we don't serve any purpose except for our own needs. So I think that if we're more in touch with helping others and being positive, you know, and, and being happy for people's success and not boasting about our own, you know, I mean, shit. I keep all of my, my personal achievements to myself, you know, things that are more on a sexual level or... You know, I'm not trying to snub anybody. I'm proud of my band and what we do when we have a message. So I try to publicize that as much as I can. But, you know, I lead a very humble life. Um, you know, I'm not perfect. I have a lot of problems I need to work out. So, you know, I don't want to be the judge of character. 
But uh, I do see shit, and it bothers me. So, you know, I hope we could turn things around. For the sake of our children and our beloved animals on this planet and everything else, you know, love your friends, love your family, respect everybody. Well, <laughs> you have to respect everyone to some extent, even the people that don't respect themselves. Uh, it's good to have a voice and an opinion and not just roll with the punches. You know, I don't need to be liked by everybody. I guess I'd rather be the bad guy if I had to justify things sometimes. But that's just me and that's what I do. So, uh, that's just a little preview of what I've been thinking about lately. I hope that you can enjoy this weather. Yo, my neighbor. She's kind of smoking. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she's cute. Anyway, uh, this is, uh, my, uh, my neighborhood here. This is my mom and my stepfather's house where I'm staying because I'm hurt. But, uh, I really am grateful for their help, their love and support. And, uh, everybody out there that loves us and the Slut Junkies, I just want to say one love, peace, represent, and all that good shit. Um, so yo, with that, enjoy your day. Catch you later.